Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to make vocabulary flashcards for my classes. And hopefully this will be helpful to you, and then you'll be able to start making them without more instruction. But if you need help, you can let me know, and I'll be happy to help you. So the purpose of this is to learn vocabulary, to study, to use the flashcards to study while you're learning it, and then to also have a handy way of referencing back to words that you need to review or you may have forgotten. And so here I have what the front of the flash, the flash card would look like. And it has the word. And then I went ahead and wrote the page number where the definition was found or where they, they talked about it in the textbook. And that's kind of easy in case you want some more examples. And at the bottom you'll notice I have an O. And that O is from the start of the letter opposites. If it was absolute value, it'd be an A. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why we have this in a minute. Uh, you're going to do this on basically three by five cards. And uh, so try to put that letter at the bottom, somewhere within a centimeter of the bottom, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Now, on, this is the back of the card, and so on the back of the card I have a definition. Um, since I was trying to make it Visible for you guys, I just wrote the book definition or a, a rough approximation of it, but it would be better if you give the definition in your own words. I think that's more helpful to you. So uh, the definition, numbers that are the same distance away from zero on a number line, okay? Uh, there's other ways probably to define the term opposites, but this one is a good one, I think. And so I gave an example, three and negative three, and then I drew a number line and I tried to show how they were equal distance from zero, okay? And so uh, another thing that I wanted to point out is I have a definition, uh, I have an example, a picture is always good if you can think of a picture that comes with it, and uh, one important point is I intentionally did not write the word opposites on this side of the card, and the reason for that is now I can use this two ways. One, I can Use the, when I'm using the flashcards, I can look at the word and try to think of what the definition is or an example, or I can use it the other way. I can read the definition and see the example and then try to think of what the vocabulary word is. And so uh, I would encourage you to try to do that also if you can. It would help you study both ways. Uh, now, uh, one more interesting thing is you may notice that I have holes punched right here, and then of course when it's flipped over, the holes would be on this side. And I have a few examples of some more flashcards I did. Here's additive inverse, and here would be the definition with some examples and some drawings the best I could. And here is another one, integer. Oops, it's all crooked. Integer, and you see positive or negative whole numbers. There's some examples. So again. I could use this as a study. I could look at this one and try to think of the word integer. So what I simply did was after I made my flashcards where you can make the holes first, I went over to my hole puncher and I made sure that I had it. it was, the holes are going to be on the left side as you look at the front of the card. And I placed the card in the hole puncher. You can only do about maybe five at a time because you don't want to, uh, if it gets too thick, it doesn't punch well. And then I just punched holes in this. Now, the last thing we're going to do is in your, in your binder, you have a vocabulary section. And in your vocabulary section of your binder, you're going to put these terms in alphabetical order. So I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so this makes a very handy way to look through your vocabulary words. This would be all the A's, and then I could have A's behind this. This would be the I's, so if I wanted to go down and see, oh, where's my, you know, uh, F for factor, then here would be an F, and somewhere in here would be factor uh, in the F section. So that's the purpose of the holes, and then putting these letters in this way. I do hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you're able to now make your flashcards on your own and use them to study. And again, if you want to take them out and study back and forth, you can do that also. Uh, many different options with doing it this way. So I thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.